everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube and today we're back taking a look at another brand new Ghostbusters item from Hasbro. This time it is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 playset. And I am over the moon excited to finally have this new rendition of the Ecto-1 in hand. As you can see right now, we're taking a look at the front of the box art here, and this Ecto-1, of course, is inspired by the upcoming film, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And that's evident because obviously we have Phoebe on the box art, one of the new characters from Ghostbusters Afterlife. As well, you can see her sitting on that gunner seat, the same gunner seat that's been featured in both Ghostbusters Afterlife trailers. Now, the box does feature kind of like that caution striping style design that we've seen on other Hasbro Ghostbusters items, namely the Fright feature line. And there's a good reason for that because this Ecto-1 is meant for the Fright features. Now, I know I've already mentioned it in previous videos, but man, I do love this art that is featured on the front of the box. And speaking of that artwork, if you've been following us here on Ghostbusters News for the past couple weeks or so, you know this box art has been a hot topic, as there's been two different box arts found on store shelves. One featuring Phoebe in the blue overalls, and a rarer variant featuring her in a Ghostbusters flight suit. If you'd like to learn more about the additional differences in these box arts, we've already made a video on it. In fact, we're going to include that down below in this video's description. Now flipping the box around to the back here, we've got this image here of this kid just playing around with the Ecto-1, you know, just having a ball, having the time of his life. As well, we see some of the additional features of the Ecto-1, including a gunner chair and an included RTV. Now upon opening up the Ecto-1 here, I've got, I've got instructions there. Of course, a sticker sheet is also included here with some caution striping. We've got the Ghostbusters logos there. We've got the Ecto-1 license plate. Uh, we've also got like the back window, which much like the original Kinder Ecto-1, that's a sticker also. Now, as you're taking a look at right here, some assembly is required. We've got the bottom of the Ecto, the top of the Ecto, all the stuff for like the, uh, the roof rack and such. So give me a second and let me put this rendition of the Ecto-1 together. I can't wait. And here it is all constructed, the Ghostbusters Afterlife Fright Feature Ecto-1 from Hasbro. And my first impressions here, it almost seems like a spiritual successor to the old school Kenner Ecto-1. But to me, this seems like a revised rendition of that old Ecto, just with those brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife features. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that because that Ecto-1, the old Kenner one, is like honestly one of my all-time favorite toys. Now appearance-wise, of course, it's got all the details you would expect out of the Ecto-1. You got that white plastic frame there. As I mentioned earlier, it came with quite a few stickers, so like all the Ecto-1 logos that you're seeing, those are stickers I applied to this. And for the most part, the stickers go on really nice, really clean. And speaking of stickers here, let's take a look actually at the front grille of the Ecto-1. We've got that Ecto-1 license plate sticker up front. And also you can see the front of this Ecto-1, the grille looks just like the actual Ecto-1 grille. And with that said, I do want to point out that this Ecto-1 actually does have General Motors seal of approval on it. So this is a 100% licensed product by them. We also have the white wall tires here, which awkwardly enough, the actual white walls on those tires were actually stickers as well. And I know sometimes when it comes to like circular stickers, they're kind of hard to get on just like perfectly, but I really had like no problems here with the front end. And on the back end, seeing that half the wheel is pretty much blocked off to you, they give you two half stickers for each wheel. There's also the red fins that snap into place on the back end of this Ecto-1, very much like they did once again back in the old school Kenner days. And focusing in on the back end here, we've got another Ghostbusters logo sticker, the license plate sticker, and the back door that we're going to open up here in a second, because once again, there's going to be a surprise waiting inside. This Ecto-1 also features some additional details there. We got like the blue tubing on the side of the Ecto leading up to the roof rack and same goes also for that black ladder. And speaking of that roof rack here, let's actually shift our focus to that. You can see it doesn't have everything that the actual Ecto-1 has. Like it looks like the dome dish there has been simplified. There's no ghost sniffer, but they did take a liberty here and they added a massive ghost cannon, I guess you would call it. Two individual caution stripe stickers make up the detail work on that. And then shifting over to the other side of the roof rack here, you'll see there's actually four individual stickers that I placed here. Uh, and while I think that looks actually really good, the adhesive on these stickers doesn't really seem that strong. So you can see right here, those stickers are kind of wanting to lift up a bit. All right, so now it's time for my favorite part of the review, actually being able to play around with this brand new Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Hasbro here. So let's actually take a look on the inside here. And to do that, we're gonna open up the passenger door. So let's go ahead and open up the gunner chair door. And to do that, it pops open just like we saw with the passenger door. You just extend it out just a little bit, and then you can move that chair comfortably to the back end of the Ecto-1. Now in doing that, you'll see that this Ecto-1 really only has two seats. One for the driver, one for the person in the gunner chair. However, there is still quite a bit of room in the back end, meaning you could comfortably sit at least another Ghostbuster in there. 
And if you really don't care about stacking figures, you could definitely get all four Ghostbusters inside of here easily. Now the figures themselves fit perfectly in there. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, get old Venkman here in the driver's seat. Let's get, I don't know, maybe Ray in the gunner chair. Yeah, let's, let's get these figures inside. Okay, and here we are. So we got Ray there in the gunner seat. We got Venkman there driving. And one thing I just noticed actually about that gunner seat when putting Ray in it was it actually has a peg on it, meaning that the chair pegs into the back of the Ghostbuster where the proton pack normally would be. And that means you get a really secure fit when it comes to your Ghostbuster and that gunner chair. And a little piece of detail that I love that they included was if you take a look on the back side of that gunner seat, you'll see a Ghostbusters proton pack sculpted on there. Now, earlier in the review, we were talking about the roof rack there. In particular, we were talking about this uh, new kind of ghost cannon. Once again, I'll call it. I, I don't really know what you'd call it here. But yeah, we'll, we'll refer to it as the ghost cannon. Not only does this attach to the top of the Ecto-1, but it also attaches to that gunner chair. You can see right here, it just pegs in right on the side. And to fire, it is really easy to do so. There's no spring inside or anything like that. Really, all you got to do is put pressure on the backside of that little piece. And in doing so, well, this is what it looks like. Three, two, one. And once again, being that there's actually no spring or mechanism inside that little piece, that feature actually works really, really well. Now, if you do want to get the gunner chair back inside the Ecto-1, you actually do have to remove the uh, little kind of ghost cannon here. But uh, once again, very easy to do so. Just slide them right in there, close that door, and there you go. But you know what they say? They say when two doors close, one door opens. Because there's one more door we need to tell you about, and it is the back door of the Ecto-1. And this feature here, it's so basic, but it works so well. All you gotta do, open that back door, and then you're gonna see the RTV, the remote control ghost trap, come flying out of there. Now before we fixate on the RTV, you can see that uh, we applied a caution striping sticker on the inside of that door. As well, that little area that holds the RTV in the back end of the Ecto-1 is also made to look like some of the electrical gear and equipment that is in the back end of the Ecto-1. Now shifting our focus over to the RTV here, it's what you'd expect. It's a ghost trap on wheels. But it looks great, but it also actually does have an added secret feature. All you gotta do is just turn it upside down, and then go ahead and grab that ghost cannon, and you've got a ghost cannon on wheels. And I would like to send a huge thank you out to Brent Hollingsworth of the Arizona and Buffalo Ghostbusters for the heads up on this feature. Now I think with that, that kind of finishes off our look at this Ecto-1, but as I mentioned in that Fright Feature action figure video, these new toys, they are so similar to those old school real Ghostbusters Kenner action figures. And when I say so similar, I mean those figures can actually fit inside this rendition of the Ecto-1, meaning you can have your original real Ghostbusters figures playing around in this Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto. Now there are a few limitations here and there to that. Like once again, to securely fasten a Ghostbuster into that gunner chair, they need to have that specific hole in their back like the Fright Feature figures have. The real Ghostbusters figures, both the originals and the reissues, the holes in their back, well, they're different. So while you can set them in the chair, they're not going to be like really securely fit in there. And while we're doing that, we might as well go ahead and fit the Fright Feature figures inside a Kenner Ecto-1. Now the Ecto you're taking a look at here, it is part of the brand new Hasbro Kenner Classics line. But once again, the Fright Feature figures, they work seamlessly with this Ecto. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and just give you a brief comparison between that Kenner Ecto-1, once again, this is the Hasbro Kenner Classics rendition, and the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1 playset. As I said at the top of the video, I really do feel like this brand new offering is a spiritual successor to that original 80s Ecto. I think it is a must-have, especially for kids. They're going to love this thing, and at the same time, an adult collector. Because as I mentioned in our Fright Feature reviews, I love the way those figures display, especially alongside this new rendition of the Ecto-1. I really hope Hasbro continues to build this line out, because to me it almost feels like a continuation of those old school real Ghostbuster figures I loved back in the 80s. So guys, that does it for this video. If you'd like to grab your very own brand new Ecto-1 from Hasbro, we've got links down below in this video's description. Click it and uh, buy yours today. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.
until you strike. When you're at your weakest, you'll even turn out the lights. It's when you know when we catch our prize. Calls coming in, it sounds like a class fight. Hope a spirit guy, there might be some clues. There's something to you, so we can conclude. Investigation, we experience manifestation. We're living in peace. P.K.E. meter is blazing. Classic grills, white walls, and the sirens. Go to Hell's Kitchen and over the set. Somebody's gotta do it, who you calling on yourself?